we're very fortunate to have uh, a conductor in Simon Rattle who treats everyone in the orchestra well. And uh, we are all interested in playing concerts as well as we can. Uh, if someone is the chief conductor, we have to accept his ideas, whether we personally agree with them or not. Uh, in the ideal situation, we would be agreeing with his ideas most of the time. I think one needs to translate what the conductor says, and you need to don't do what he says, do what he means. This is often not the same. And I think, uh, for example, especially for us, uh, the least conductors uh, are brass players. <laughs> and uh, a lot of them don't know so much about brass instruments. And often they say something uh, that, well, if you take it serious, as he said, uh, something terrible will happen. Or often conductor says, take a very hard stick and actually well he can do that but the question is why does the conductor want this he wants a certain sound and so in the worst case it's better to ask why shall I do this what do you want me to come out of my instrument and then that you do that there are two things that are quite aggravating that conductors tend to do one of them is when they if they want an entrance to be uh, quiet that they, then they do something like you know Hit me, don't hit me. You know, come on, you just say, please <laughs> play this softly. That is enough. The rest of it, show for the audience. And the other thing that I find quite annoying is when conductors stop conducting. And that's usually the time when one really needs impulses. And the conductor just, you know, going along, they just stop and sort of listen, and they think that's really cool. But I don't think it's cool. I like to have, I think we do our job, conductors should do their job, and part of their job is showing where the beat is.